G'day folks, and welcome back to the channel for episode number 32 of our Cold Trozen Sky Shard Spellbreaker, where uh, it's time to finish Ashes of Malmo on Elite. Um, now, let me stay away from these training dummies while I just mention a couple of things. Uh, the first thing to note is I now have Honored with the uh, Malmoth Resistance, so I picked up the Writ for them, so we will be getting more reputation with them. Where are they? Uh, da, 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 here they are. Okay, so we just hit Honored, and it's important when you do hit Honored that you get, go get the Writ for whatever faction. Um, I could probably see the Outcast not being something you really care about, but um, Black Legion, absolutely 100%. Malmo Re Resistance, absolutely 100%. You need those writs as soon as you can get them. Um, I screwed up in this playthrough. I didn't get the Black Legion writ until uh, a, a decent chunk of the way in. Um, I should be a lot closer to Revered than I am. Um, I will most likely have to go and do some bounties before I go to Elite, and I absolutely will be doing that. Um, however, the reason why we're in the Commons Refuge is that we are like the width of a bee's dick away from being revered with the Coven. And once we are revered with the Coven, let me go to the right merchant, we will have access to this augment for Bleeding Resistance, this augment for chaos and pierce resistance, and this augment for elemental resistance. Now, the main one I'm interested in is honestly this one, um, and I will probably just buy one of those, um, but that would cap our chaos resistance and put piercing a little bit higher. So, um, we're going to go and kill a few. What do the, what do they want? I think it's beasts, isn't it? Yeah, kill some beasts. The other thing I wanted to mention, and this was mentioned to me by a Reddit user Atomic Moog, so if you're listening, thank you very much. Um, these last two points here in the Rowan's Crown give us LA Resist, which, I mean, we don't need it. Um, and also, I think it was a tiny amount of extra damage. It also gives us Chaos Resistance, which is definitely nice. However, we can take those two points out of there. Put them in the crab here. Offensive ability, more crits, more crits, more procs. Um, pierce resist is nice to have, but we're capped on that as well. And this last one here for some more elemental damage, and we get the elemental resistance back that we lost from losing this one. Um, basically, this node makes up for both of these, and then we get a bunch of offensive ability as well. So I have swapped those over. We now have completed the crab, and we've dropped the uh, Rowan's Crown Constellation down to just getting Elemental Storm. The other uh, change to the uh, devotions that I was considering is dropping the Phoenix and coming up here. Now that we have more crits more often, um, consider taking Blizzard just for another damage proc. However, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to keep the damage absorption from the Phoenix. That was just something I wanted to point out, kind of a you-can-do-this kind of thing. Um, also, I pretty much decided that I'm going to finish this series on uh, patch version 1.1.9.8. Um, I tried again to play on version 1.2, and while it is amazing, the, um, the quality of life of not having to recast all of my buffs every single time I change instance or I, uh, I reset my session. Um, the fact that the tortoise uh, proc is constantly up, the, uh, the crabs proc is constantly up, the crashes that I'm getting, um, all of this stuff kind of makes it um, not impossible, but definitely harder to play on 1.2. Um, and so because of that, I'm going to stay with 1.1.9.8 as much as I would like to participate in the playtesting. Um, having to change all of these settings back every time I swap back and forth is killing me as well. Uh, so there are also... Um, you know what, I'll talk about the Templar playthrough in the Templar playthrough. Um, for now, we are here to kill beasts. Um, how far off are we? Da, da, da. Oh, we're already there. Alright, so we need... What, maybe four or five more... Fancy beasts. 
So let's see if we can't get a few of those. There should be a couple up here towards, um, what's his name, Kerval. So we'll get those. Um, also, we are planning on using a conduit, so any of these trees you find, make sure you kick them over. Uh, going into ultimate with, you know, 60 Ugden Blooms is going to be a hell of a lot better than going in with, like, 10. Because we're going to need probably around, around about 100 of them. Um, maybe slightly more, depending on how lucky we get. So, definitely click on a few of these. Get some Ugden Blooms for sure. Um, definitely feeling a little unlucky here with regards to finding monsters with stars on their heads. Um, I actually thought we would be done by now. Unfortunately not. That's a trap. And I do want to get this to Revered before we continue. And then I will probably do Black Legion bounties after we finish um, killing Theoden. And uh, I will do that off screen. Maybe make a little compilation montage or something at the next start of the next one, but we'll see how I feel. Um, it may not happen, I'll be honest, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> okay. Um, still no stars. Maybe one of these plants will come back to life as uh, like the electric plant or the fire plant. It's not looking like it. Okay, I know where we can go to get some stars. If nothing else, there will be a totem here, and the totem will have some beasts in it. I'm pretty sure it's um, uh, ancient savage totem. So we'll go hit that up. Okay, sorry, I'm just playing with something on my other screen. No, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a mystery. <laughs> Okay, here's my totem. Savage totem there. Should get two or three um, monsters with stars. And here's another one, so... Happy days. Death Whisper leggings. Um, could be good. I can't really remember what they do. But uh, we will have a look after this totem. Okay, so as usual, I'm turning the loot off so I can see what's going on. Um, let's see if we can't get an Altus proc in here as well. Nope, didn't need it. Alright. City and Seal, I believe, is physical bleeding? No, I'm completely off. Okay, um... Frostborn. I spike on weapons. Okay. We can probably get Frostborn on a replacement weapon for our main hand uh, fairly soonish. But uh, I'm not planning on doing that again until ultimate. Yes, there was a... Uh, a monster with a star in its head just there, uh, but we're done. So let's uh, let's have a look at these pants. Um, yes, <laughs> straight upgrade. All right, level eighty-four, we get new pants. So I don't need you anymore. Um, these will probably be our pants until we find the pants we were using for our forever pants. Um, yeah, pretty happy about finding those. Okay, uh, let's just check any rare jewelry or anything else with some nice procs on it. Don't think so. Nope, okay. Um, I only want to get one of level 90. Okay, never mind. The first 10 minutes of this video has been a complete wash. <laughs> uh, Okay. Well, when we get to level 90, if we need those, we have them available. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll head over to, um, back to Melmoth and, and get started on that. Ah, okay. So, we'll head out here, and same as always, uh, this first little section here, there's not a huge amount of stuff to do. But we will work our way through here. And this guy is frozen, which is always fun. A 
I'd be interested to know what his uh, freeze resistances are, or uh, his cold resistances rather, because he took considerably longer to kill than than those things normally do, or than uh, just regular champions normally do. Alright, oh, there's another one. Vanalius. I misread that initially, I thought it said vanilla. Okay, I am definitely happy finding tons of these guys with um, tons of those champions because they all give Black Legion reputation, which is something I very much like. See, 52 Black Legion. Um, I will kill those all day, and I will go out of my way to find them. I think there may be another one down here. I may be misremembering. <laughs> but that's fine. I will find them, and I will kill them. Every one of these little guys, the uh, well, just all of them, uh, give one reputation with Black Legion when you kill them as well, so definitely worth killing them all. Um, the player character is obviously an omnicidal murderer. Just basically kills everything all the time. Um, pick up the arcane supplies while we're here. And head back to my normal route through the city. There's nothing important in here, so we don't go in there. Um, I'm actually still not 100% sure what that area exists for. It's probably some side quest that uh, that I don't generally do. Um, but yeah, I basically uh, I don't remember what it's for. I went and checked it out on the on the Templar playthrough, and there was just some monsters in there to kill, and that was it. So I'm not going to bother this time. Um, next one. Okay, this little hidden door here, um, we get to tell lies to her, we can send you both, I promise, um, and then this guy decides he'd rather just, you know, die out here on the street, so, um, yeah, sucks for him, I guess. Alright, finally saw Altos proc there, which is nice. Alright, so every time I come through this section of town, um, I mention that this corner is really dangerous. And uh, then I explain why it's dangerous, and then it proceeds to not be dangerous. So I'm just going to walk up here and see if... No. So sometimes you can get one of the Flesh Weavers, I think it's Heraxis, uh, who will spawn here. And he always has a huge pack of monsters with him. Um, and then these mages come piling out of this building. And uh, it's, it's just generally a bad time for everyone involved. Um, by which I mean me. So, do be aware that that corner can be a little bit dangerous, um, but also I've been on a pretty good run of it not being dangerous. And um, so previous episodes, I was saying, like, these little swirly things, you know, uh, I kind of don't like them, you know, they're, they're less damaged than just having two pro... I love them. I love these things. I'm never taking these rings off. <laughs> um, they have so much damage, it's crazy. Uh, let's see, yep, here is Heraxis this time for sure. Um, this is one of the places he lives. Uh, we're about to run to the other place he lives as well. And I'm going to get out of all that Aether stuff. 47% um, Aether resistance is not great. Uh, so I'm going to drink a potion. Um, that was due to having my resistances shredded. And... Um, this build is nice in that everything stops when you press uh, Flash Freeze. But uh, if everything is going and your resistances get shredded down to 40 something percent, you're going to have a very bad time. So, um, are we here for the, uh, the Exalted Chest that didn't give us a blue item? Which is unusual. I guess we got the blueprint instead. Um, Mask of Infernal Truth. I would rather have a random blue item than that blueprint. Uh, what is that? I thought there was a chest there. 
Okay, um, so just here is the other place that the Flesh Weaver we just killed can spawn. Uh, so he can be sort of here-ish, he can be up here, this is where I mostly find him. Um, or he can be on this corner here. Um, being as how he's dead though, let's uh, move on. Now for one of my least favorite sections of the city of Malmoth. All these little walkways constantly giving me pathing issues. To borrow a phrase from Golem, we hate it forever! Um, hopefully Fangs of Astakhan is not going to have huge areas with tiny little walkways and multiple floors because uh, it's just it's something that this game does not handle well. Right. Couple more quests here, and then we'll blow up the uh, the door to the next area, and uh, maybe I think we'll have enough time. We can finish Ashes of Malmoth in this video. All right, we send these guys home, and we keep on keeping on up this way. Now I like to drop a portal uh, just at the start of this here bridge, and obviously I'm going to do that again. So. Button L is the default for drop a portal. Um, let's go ahead and yes, I know I'm being attacked. Um, yes, so button number L, button number L, button L will drop your portal here without you having to use it uh, unless you have changed it. And uh, from there, we can proceed along the bridge and then like I said um, I will be coming back using that portal that I just dropped the rift. Um, we blow the bridge up or the gate rather and we head on in. Now then from here we can talk to old mate Olgrim. Um, I don't think you get Black Legion for any of the quests here so I'm pretty sure it's just for killing things. Okay, we are going back for two reasons. Uh, reason number the first is there is an exalted chest up here. Uh, this exalted chest is always in the same place. It's always here and uh, it's always got a, a blue or a purple in this case in it. Uh, which, I mean, I'm a fan of, of guaranteed blue items or purple items. Uh, so I'm going to check those. Um, it did turn out to be uh, pants which is not really something we need, and uh, my OCD is kicking in again, so I'm just going to uh, transfer all of these items to this tab and move on. Um, and the other thing we are here for is to rescue another group of civilians who managed to get themselves trapped in the middle of a city full of ethereals um, and somehow haven't been found yet. So I would be curious to know how many days the Grim Dawn has been active for, um, how many days ago it started, because these guys are not very well hidden, um, but they're still here, so... Hmm, somewhat questionable. Are they, are they working with the Ethereals? Is that why they haven't been found and killed yet? Who knows. Alright, uh, we are done here. Let's head back to the Steel Cap District. Turtle shell up to rank 22 now. That should be about five and a half thousand on that shield. Um, four nine. That's still a very nice shield. All right. Uh, yep. Mammoth resistance. Wayward soul rank 13. Phoenix fire rank 13. What else have we got to rank 13? Inspiration. So that's the bard's harp. And we're done. Okay, um, let's go ahead and agree. We will do the Black Iron Docks, because why not? Um, and these guys should be active next time we come back to town. Um, you can go ahead and keep the purple items and blow them up for scrap and rare crafting materials. Um, I've found that that is very hit or miss. A lot of the times all you end up getting is scrap, um, 
and I've got 50 scrap, which is not actually huge, um, but it is kind of huge. I'm going to hang on to this for um, as we continue. Um, I will be using it. What is it? I'll do what I can. Yep. I promise to help a little bit. Now, where we want to go for the Black Iron Docks is just here, I think it is. Which is a decent run from all of these, so... You know what, we're going to skip it for now. I will come back and do the Black Iron Docks at some point, um, but for right now I'm going to skip it. I'm also going to spend my skill points... Um, I forget exactly where we were up to, but I think I was putting them into the Nightblade bar to get to the, uh, the pets. Let's just spread Haunt through all that and kill it with procs. Okay, we are done there. We're looking for three vents. Uh, that was the southernmost one. Let's make sure we kill... Who is that? No. Make sure we kill that puddle on the floor whose name I didn't get the chance to catch. I do want to pick up the hat, though. There we go. Alright. Intessius. That sounds like something that came out of... You know what? Let's not go there. <laughs> Alright, we have a totem and also a desecrated shrine. Now this is a fight shrine, so I'm just going to turn it on for the extra loot um, and for the um, extra Black Legion reputation for killing them. Uh, let's see if we can't just kind of stand out in the middle of the street and get the swirly procs going. Um, like I said, I was I was not sold on the swirly procs initially, um, especially because I think I think the area I was in when I first got them was uh, very sort of tight quarters, and so they would proc and then they'd run into a rock and turn themselves off. Um, in big wide open streets like this, they they swirl around and they just absolutely do tons of damage. Um, right, Valexteria up here. Uh, if you stand in the doorway here, which I'm going to do now. Uh, a lot of her meteors and such will just bounce off the roof. Which is definitely what you want. Um, unfortunately, all of our meteors are also bouncing off the roof. So, excuse me, you saw that one. Oh, Alright, here we go. So we do have to be careful of her meteors now. Um, are they shredding resistances? I feel like they should be. Whatever. Uh, she's dead now, which is very nice. Um, 112 of Black Legion? 112 of Black Legion? Yes! Okay. So maybe we forget bounties and we just farm her. Uh, where are we up to? Black Legion honored. 2-9. Um, or even better than forget bounties and farm her, we do... Um, we do these things as well. Totems. Yeah, these, these swirlies, when you're in a big wide open like area like this, um, and you got multiple procs going off, these are really, really good. And they kind of spiral outwards as well. So, actually really good damage, and I was way too hard on them. And if they were a person, I would be ringing up to apologize. Alright. I didn't see any items or any uh, rare affixes that I'm interested in, so we're going to ignore the items for now. Um, vengeance does give cold damage, but otherwise not interested. Let us continue onwards. Actually, there's kind of a shortcut question mark through here to get to the other um, the other vent we need to clear. Um, this is the wrong way, I need to be downstairs. Here we go. Alright, so here's the other vent we needed. Um, 
let's just maybe stay in the middle of the street so we can keep the swirlies going. I think they might be running into something there, but that's fine. Vent has been destroyed. We are good to go. And uh, we are moving back towards the fleshworks, which we should have time to clear today. Um, I may have to do a little bit of cleanup in the next episode, but we'll see how long the, uh, the fleshworks take. Maybe we can just go a little bit longer in today's episode. I'm sure nobody is going to complain if the, uh, the video happens to be 45 minutes instead of half an hour. Probably. <laughs> There's going to be someone who complains just to be contrarian now. Alright. Get, go up, up the stairs. Up the, there we go. I hate the pathing in this city, I really do. I've just finished doing this in uh, normal or in veteran difficulty with the Templar. So people who are watching every single day are probably sick of hearing me complain about it. But damn it, I'm sick of complaining about it too. Okay. Didn't need that chosen sky shard there. But that is 100% a-okay. We'll, uh, we'll help out the Black Legion here. And uh, we'll head on in. Now I've got two... Oh, I've got three spirit pain ointments left. Um... I'm going to actually not use one here. How's Black Legion looking? Yeah, we're not going to get there. There's no way. Although I could go to a couple of bounties now. Um, I think we will instead just uh, use a potion for Theoden. And then I will fix my Black Legion reputation before we start ultimate. Um, I'm not starting ultimate with 60% Aether resistance. So... That needs to be fixed before we continue. Uh, with that said though, I think we should be pretty good for, uh, for Theoden. I will get down to him. Um, I'm gonna kill Krieg as well, just because, you know, he's there. Um, I'll get down to Theoden, I'll head back to town. I do want to get some uh, Royal Jelly Potions, just in case. Um, because realistically, there's no reason not to. And uh, every reason why you might want to be a little more tanky. 8% um, more health and a bunch of regen is good, especially when it's effectively free. And uh, we don't really use the potions for anything except act bosses. So we may as well use them. Okay, first area has been traversed. Welcome to the Fleshworks, which is um, actually kind of gross. I must have my sound settings down really low for his voice, because that's the first time I've actually heard him talking in this section. Alright, so top left here we've got Krieg, and uh, we should just be able to face tank him realistically. Uh, something's doing a lot of damage, I think it's all that goop on the ground. Um, let's go ahead and blow this up, burn it down. And we have just the one more thing to do in here, and that is to kill... Hagelvar and his friend, whose name I can't remember right now, and uh, we're just going to run away for a second. <laughs> because he hits like a truck. Well, there's something there hits like a truck. I think it might be him. Okay, Infernal Knight's faceplate, so if we were playing a build that needed this one, um, we could now craft the entire set and transmute it. Or craft multiple helmets and transmute it into the whole set. There we go. Words are hard. Okay, so we're looking for one more of those big fat buggers. And that will open up the door into the Inner Sanctum, where we can fight Theoden. Um, extra level and rumor is really good. That's uh, more cold resistance shredding. These things are 
really obnoxious. Um, still just looking for that little star on the map that says uh, the guy you need to kill is over here, come get him. Um, definitely noting a distinct lack of stars though. Maybe he'll be over here. There he is, okay. Let's uh, entertain these friends first, and then we'll worry about him after that. Alright, the mirror is up, which is the one I wanted. The mirror is no longer up, so we can... Oh, I didn't even use it. Alright, there we go. We can face tank this now. Something hit me really hard there, and I don't know what it was. So, if anybody does know what it is that he does that does a ton of damage, uh, let me know in the comments. Oh, can I just... Can I just not hit that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh no, he didn't quite hit it. Alright, there's another little wall there. Which I... it definitely looks like I'm not going to be able to break in there. That's fine. I didn't want that anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we are ready to go and face Theoden. Uh, but we need to make one quick trip to the bank. And I may as well sell things while I'm here as well. So Hiram, everyone's favorite. Merchant, um, don't forget to buy your Aether Crystals when you're here. And it's worth checking all of these blueprints as well. Because if there's anything he has that you don't already know, so the blueprints that is, um, it's absolutely worth buying them just so they don't show up as a drop. Although, with that said, you absolutely could just um, wait for it to drop. Okay, um, let's see, Royal Jelly Bomb, yep, health regen, percentage increase, that's 8% health, we want that, that's the energy one, we don't care for that, okay, do we have the cold damage, no we don't, okay, what about the one with offensive ability, I know one of these will give me some offensive ability, that one. Um, that one's much shorter duration. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and kill as an act boss. Uh, so, drink all of the potions and let's go in. So Theoden has four different phases. Most of his damage is Aether, um, but he also does lightning damage, physical damage, vitality damage, and piercing damage, which I was surprised by. Um, that was definitely a shotgun. So I think we should be right to just run back and forth over here keep him on his little wall. Um, and what is that one? 13 total resistance reduction. Yeah. I had a feeling he would have at least some amount of resist reduction. Come on, buddy. Let's drag him out into the middle of the floor. And then that way we can um, we can hit him with the swirlies. Um, that said, okay, phase three. One more. 
There we go, Handy's down. Alright, Ashes of Malmo completed. Or Ashes of Malmoth completed, rather. Uh, that is the end of Elite. Now, um, before we do any waffling, let's grab our loot and get out of here. And then I can discuss what comes next after. Okay, I don't, I didn't see anything particularly interesting in the loot there, uh, but I will check it once we are back in town and at least relatively safe. Okay, back to Steel Cap District. Now we've got a couple of quests to turn in here as well. So uh, we, are, yep, we are going to tell her the truth. Um, bunch of stuff that I'm not going to use. And then Inquisitor Creed. Did we get Black Legion? We did not. We did, however, get a legendary ring. And it's rubbish. So, what's our next move? Okay, there we go. So we still have to do the Black Iron Docks. Um, however, I'm pretty sure the Black Iron Docks is a... Uh, wow, that is a really nice kind of cheats amulet. Okay, so this amulet, we would lose plus one to all skills in Arcanist. And, you know, a couple of other little stats like 41% cold damage, um, some energy, cast speed. But we would gain 20 to 20 something all resistances. Um, and also 20 to 20 something to all of our stats. Now, I'm not going to use this uh, because I value plus one to skills very, very highly. Um, plus one to skills is extremely powerful. But you absolutely could use something like that, and it would... I mean, if I put that on, all my resistance issues just go away. Um, and that would... would uh, allow me to transition very smoothly into ultimate. But so will these pants when I get to 84. And when I do, when I finish the Black Legion here, um, that will also do the same thing. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to reset my session. I'm going to start again. And we are going to go and do the Black Iron Docks. G'day folks, Editing Pocus here. And uh, that last loading screen, you saw the screen pause momentarily. That was me muting my microphone in order to uh, sneeze, cough, something or other that I didn't want to include in the recording. Unfortunately, I failed to turn the microphone back on. And so the next eight minutes or so of footage is going to be without any microphone recording. So if you want to just play this video to listen to my voice, um, firstly, thank you. Second, you're crazy. And uh, thirdly, you can skip forward to 45 minutes and 57 seconds where I finally figure out that the microphone is off. Uh, you will be missing the run to the Black Iron Docks and the actual event in the Black Iron Docks. But um, the, the waffling that you miss out on was basically just me saying, hey, I'm going to the Black Iron Docks. Um, we are doing that in order to kill a whole bunch of champions to get reputation. Blah blah blah, lots of damage procs, blah blah blah, stand in the middle, don't let the procs hit the wall, that sort of thing. Um, so there will be a link in the description, um, but if you just want to do it yourself, you can skip forward to 45 minutes and 57 seconds. Um, thank you and my apologies for the dead air.
was the mission as well, I always knew back before the city fell. We had a council that managed many of the operations. Okay, so the microphone's been on mute for a little bit, so that's always fun. Um, welcome back to the voiceovers. Um, I will check how long that was, and I may uh, I may cut the video where I turned it off um, and re-record it, I guess. That is quite unfortunate. Alright, so we're here for uh, reputation. Let's see if we can't get our Black Legion up to Revered. Now, um, as I've been sh uh, showing and not telling, um, we are going to be doing bounties for the um, the Malmo Resistance, uh, Malmoth Resistance, sorry, because I want those at Revered before I head into Ultimate anyway for the XP pots. Um, and doing bounties for them will send us to kill um, ethereal, um, ethereal vanguard targets, which will also give Black Legion reputation, so there's no need to do Black Legion bounties. God, how much waffling have I done with the microphone muted? <laughs> I mute the microphone occasionally to cough, and... Um, and I guess I must have maybe double clicked it, or I thought I clicked it back on and I didn't. Oh well, it is what it is. I will uh, re-record over the top of that, I guess. Um, or depending on how long it was, I'll maybe just leave it. Put a timestamp in. Sound comes back on at this point. If it's only a minute or two, I'll probably do that, but um, I have a feeling it's going to be decently long. Okay, um, so here is the um, the council just here. Um, they should give us about 336, so about half of the required reputation here. Um, I don't love the fact that our Aeth Resist is uncapped going into this, but um, I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, let's go say hi. So they are shredding elemental resistances, which basically means they're doing nothing because our elemental resistances are huge. Um, I'm waiting to see the crystals pop up. There they are. See, he's surrounded in those crystals. Um, I think... It looks like each one that dies gives the, the remaining ones a, uh, a crystal. I had thought they put them up, like they cast them themselves, uh, after a certain amount of time. But it does look like they were applied to the survivors when, uh, when one of them died. So there's probably an optimal kill order for those things that I just don't know. Anyhow, uh, we are done here. The council is dead. Let's take all their stuff, if they have anything worth taking. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, um, I'm going to go turn this in. 
and I will end the episode here. So I will do some bounties off screen, uh, maybe make a tiny little video for anyone who wants to watch it. But um, this will be the end of this video. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye for now.